I noticed that YouTube has some captioning software that they just installed that allows for voice recognition. And I think it's very interesting how far behind voice recognition software is than visual recognition software. It's, it's really amazing when you think of how sophisticated computers are, what they're able to do, how you're able to do, for example, live time Skype, or how you're able to have live time recognition of, of images. You know, I can move around here and people can see me moving. It's a, it's a video recording and the sounds can be recorded, but the ability of a computer to identify the particular sounds as containing the words that they do have in there, that to me is so interesting. When you try to think about what happened to human consciousness when we learned to see sounds and when the human mind, when when it learned to disambiguate the symbolic flow that just comes out of the mouth and to create discrete lexical units, these things called words that are identifiable and repeatable and the same, to, to really try to imagine what the alphabet has done to human consciousness, you can see the incredible, just astonishing feat that it is when you look at the way that um, computers struggle with it. That to watch the computer struggle in capturing what exactly is being said. I mean, it's one thing to talk about the inability of people to understand one another. Even if you can imagine that the computer could accurately capture the particular words that you're uttering, in, in those cases, uh, we, we still are going to grant that we may not agree with or you may find uh, ambiguities, you may find uh, that certain words have overpopulated meanings and that the still the assertions aren't clear or the claims aren't clear. People disagree, they have different backgrounds, all this kind of stuff. It just seems really, really fascinating to watch the simple computer software struggle with something so simple as listening to the sounds or, or taking those sounds and then tearing apart the flow of sound into the particular words that are being uttered and what the human mind is able to do in, in doing that and then what the alphabet must have done to human consciousness to turn what is utterly invisible and doesn't have boundaries and what is purely a, a living event into a detached world of objects just there, arrested in visible space. It's, a, it's pretty mind-blowing. Okay, so uh, check out that weird software. It is quite the odd stuff. Okay, thanks.